are many reasons why you might want to copy some documents onto a CD, also known as burning. It's quite a good short-term backup medium, or it can be useful if you want to send files to a friend. Now, you could send a USB key to your friend or use the internet, but the internet can be quite slow once you start using the full space available on a CD, and USB keys are a lot more expensive than CDs. Windows XP has some basic burning capabilities built in, so in this workshop we'll take a look at how to copy some files onto a CD that we can then send to a friend. So let's do that now. So here you can see our desktop with the folder that we'd like to copy onto CD. And you can see here in the My Computer window that the CD drive is showing an icon that says CDR, which stands for CD Recordable. You might also see CDRW, which is a disk that you can wipe files from and then record new ones on. So double click on the icon and you'll see the Explore window. Left click on the folder and then drag it over into the CD drive window and let go. And the files will be copied onto a special temporary folder that Windows sets up. And you can see here that the folder has appeared. Now in the left hand column here are the CD writing tasks. It now says delete temporary files. So if you decide you don't want this folder, left click on this option to remove them. We do want them, so left click on Write These Files to CD. And the CD Writing Wizard will appear. So we can give the CD a name. And we can also set it to close down automatically after it finishes. We don't want to do this as we want to see the summary at the end. Click on Next. And Windows will start writing the files to the disk. Now, it's a good idea not to do anything while this is going on because if the flow of information to the CD is interrupted, it can actually disrupt the whole process and you need to start again. As you can see here, Windows gives you some idea of how much time is left as it's writing the files to the CD. When it is finished, it will automatically eject the disk from the drive, but it won't close the wizard down as it will ask you whether or not you want to do, make another CD using the same files. This is helpful if you want to copy them to several people. If you don't want to do this, click on Finish and your CD is ready to use.